has good con content and great characters. Also tonight, we have an opportunity to support the author of the book entitled, When She's Mad, our Chicago's own Dr. Kimberly Martin. <laughs> Right now, prior to the start of the movie, we will be having a present a panel discussion concerning the book when she's mad. Our panel consists of three men and three women. Uh, the people on the panel is Dr. G. Let's do it. We got Marcus, radio personality, AC Green. moderated by Dr. Kimberly Martin. Prior to bringing Dr. Martin to the stage, MB Production is available to assist in promoting anything from cotillions to concert as well as movie events. Uh, I would like to thank the volunteers that are members of the group known as Just Us Four, <laughs> which, is, which are Felicia Wade, Tracy, Dr. Kimberly Martin, and myself, Michelle Boyd. I'm just going to do a brief bio of Kim. Dr. Kimberly Martin is a Percy L. Julian graduate and has a PhD from National Lewis University. Kim is married to Gerard Martin. And they have two beautiful daughters, Nia and Armani. And Anne is a member of Just, Just Us Four. At this time, I present to you Dr. Kimberly Martin. Hello everyone, I wanted to just thank you all for coming out and supporting me. Um, I am uh, a little nervous, I, I said that on Facebook, I think you all probably <laughs> saw that. Um, this is my first event, um, When She's Mad is the title of my book. I've been working on this manuscript for, I want to say about two years. Um, it took a long time uh, to get it where I wanted it to be, um, even just um, Working with the publishing company that I'm working with, it takes a lot of work. So it's still in production right now. Um, I have um, the date for uh, sometime in August, mid-August for the release. I will have a book signing and release party. You guys are all invited. Uh, I hope we got your names and information at the front so I can send you guys some information about that when, it, when it's time. When she's mad, I'm going to briefly give you a little information about it. I'm not going to give you too much, then you're not going to read the book. <laughs> <laughs> but the book is uh, primarily about a study that I conducted during my research um, in my doctoral program. The research was uh, based off of 100 black men in the city of Chicago um, where I um, interviewed and surveyed these men and I wanted to know exactly how they felt or their perception of the African American woman. Okay, so it's very interesting uh, to say the least. So um, what I did uh, find out is, and well, I want to go back, back step. Uh, the, the information that I got was based off of emotional abusive behavior of the African American woman. So I, when I, have, uh, I conducted a couple of focus groups, and that's what I found out that some black men, I'm not going to say all of us, you guys, some black men stated that the reason why the divorce rate was so high, or maybe even that they did not want to marry, was because that there was some emotional abusive behavior towards them in the relationship, okay? So this is extremely, extremely um, good information that we need to know about as black women to stay in our relationships, to stay married, because most men, they're not going to disclose this information to us. Most times they shut down and they won't say anything about it, okay? So my goal now is to raise awareness to our women about our behavior and how we can um, curtail some of our behavior and how we can just perhaps even just listen to our music sometimes. Okay, so.
listen to the men as well. Yeah. <laughs> so with that said, we're gonna go. We're gonna move forward because we only have uh, maybe about 15 minutes to um, to address some of the issues with our panel. And I do want to uh, um, introduce the panel a little bit further, tell you who they are. Marcus Pfizer, he's the editor in chief of um, F Style Magazine. Dr. G is a uh, community psychologist, and he has a not-for-profit organization uh, for Better Youth. And we have Verbeese Robbins. She's a uh, Chicago police officer. We have Aisha Ross. She is a motivational speaker, as well as um, she has done a lot of research on women's studies. Okay. We have Lynn Turner. <laughs> She's a mother and a motivational speaker who actually have a lot of insight about this issue, about youth primarily. And we have A.C. Green from the A.C. Green Show. Julian High School, 79. Yes, right. 